Wow, boy, am I glad to be sitting here talking to you. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mutombo, and this channel is Mutombo in Progress because we are a work in progress. We always have something going on. The goal is to enjoy the journey and not go through life like a zombie just waiting for the you know destination. One way for me to enjoy my journey through this thing called life is to document it. I love making videos, I love editing, I love coming up with creative ways to tell stories, to show you things, to show you my experiences and so much more. So yeah, that's just a bit of what this channel is about. We are entering a new month and this video is just going to be some sort of reset. You know, just getting life back on track, taking stock of certain things organizing setting new goals and finding ways to work towards them but this happens to be the first video that i'm filming since i got back from my kenya travels so i think for things to make sense we need to do a little debrief okay so full disclosure i'll be back in cameroon for a while i've been working on the videos i went back to my hometown bamenda for three weeks and stayed with my family came back to Douala, and before long i was back again in bamenda with my entire family to celebrate my dad's 80th birthday so that is a very big blessing to us i'm from a very big nuclear family my dad has 13 children i'm the ninth and we are spread out all over the world so everybody came in from you know whatever nook and cranny we have all been hiding in and we had this wonderful celebration <laughs> It was really nice, my dad was happy. The director, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Oh, perfect. Perfect, and you're looking fine. You look very good. You look very good. Ah, ah. Wonderful. I got to see and bond with my siblings all over again. My siblings got to meet my fiance Vincent for the very first time. And after the party, Vincent and I traveled back to Douala. And all of this happened just this last weekend. So I haven't felt stable for a very long time. Honestly, the past few weeks have been very destabilizing. And I am badly in need of a reset. You know, something to just realign me you know and that's what this video is going to be about i am revamping my life i have a big life update to update you guys with but first let's get everything on track so without further ado let's start our june reset okay i'm actually kind of ashamed to show you what's going on here but i need to unpack all of this floor is dirty so there's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done so same thing in my room my shoes have to be cleaned this is the luggage that i brought back from kenya i haven't unpacked this box completely yet i came back with two boxes i've unpacked the first but this one is still here so i need to sort all of this out and you know just this is laundry that i did before traveling to bamenda over the weekend literally everything needs to be cleaned and i'm low-key discouraged because i don't know where to start but i just need to start somewhere can i ask you something are you wasting my time? Your turn is so guys, after about two hours, all I've managed to do is transfer everything from inside that box to here. However, I have to stop now because I have to go out. <laughs> Let me hide this hair. So my sisters are traveling today. They are flying out of Cameroon. So I'm going now to help wrap things up and then take them to the airport. Well, oh, take one of them to the airport. So we'll pick all of this up. When I get back, I'm feeling seasick every time that you leave. I hope you notice that this drugs ain't for free. Hi, guys, I'm just back from work. I'm about to cook for my sister and I to eat. I'll prepare 
pork stew and rice so see you guys when the food is ready okay guys so i'm just done in the kitchen it's not easy being an all-round superwoman i just finished preparing um rice stew and some pork thank you see you later bye mm. Just like we're addicts I kinda like it like that You never ask me If I'm happy or sad Ain't that the magic To keep it like that Feeling proud of all the things I left unsaid Still I run hands for you You feel me? Nothing means something we feel that the distributor that I use at my desk is bad it's not it's not really carrying current yeah I need to change this and then my mouse cheap things are very expensive so the story behind this mouse is that while in Bamenda I decided to buy myself a wireless mouse I went to the market and I saw this mouse I think they asked for 3,000 francs for it. I said, okay, I'll give you 2,000 francs for it. And they were like, oh, yeah. So I thought to myself, ah, I've bought the mouse for 2,000 francs. Guys, I haven't been using this mouse for up to two weeks, but I can hardly do anything with it. I can't click and hold, so I cannot drag things around the screen. Basically, it functions exactly how I expect a mouse for 2,000 francs to function. I was skeptical, but I decided to just try it, you know, don't knock it until you've tried it. I've tried it, it's to be knocked. So yeah, but it's a pretty mouse. Girl, tell the truth. Okay, full disclosure, this mouse has actually fallen before. And the one time that it fell, it opened, it came completely apart and I had to put it back together. Hello, people. Hi guys. So I'm on my way to get food. Vincent, say, just say hello with your glasses. <laughs> hello. Yeah. So he's wearing my glasses because the sun this evening. Yo. Anyway. So Vincent brought me a distributor and a mouse to use in the meantime. For now, I just need some food. Vincent has been kind enough to accompany me to get food. Do you want to get anything from here? We're well, here at Santa Lucia. When I say it's Santa Lucia, Elisa Lucia. laughs at yes. me. You are not is, what is it? You are saying as it's Cha. Lucia. What is it? Santa Lucia. Lucia. It's not Lucia. Uh -uh. So, I will keep this This thing sits on the balcony all day, every day. So, it just needs a bit of cleaning.
all right i'm halfway done with the laundry that i have to do by hand i have two sets of laundry the one that i do by hand and the one that i give to the laundromat I want to go get some food and for the laundry that I couldn't do, honestly, I'm just going to give the rest of it to the person. That's this, right? I don't have money to pay for your laundry, man. So it's mainly my sheets. Oh, I think I should remove the sheets out of my bed right now and give. Yeah. Last, last, it don't be last. Breakfast, sorry you, baby. If you give. All right, I'm going to go get some food from Chopiamo. We want to eat plantains and beans. Since we don't want to pay for the takeaway bowls that they give there, we are bringing our own bowls. I don't know. Maybe I should have added saving money to my June goals because the way I'm counting my pennies this month. Food has arrived. I'm ready to go home and eat. Like, this is this is three portions of beans for puff. They were out of plantain, so I substituted for puff puff. So we're in the process of cleaning my shoes. So I'm actually really washing all of them. Can you tell which ones have been cleaned and which ones are yet to be cleaned? See my precious shoes that have been gifted me. This is the work of Bamenda. These ones have been washed. These ones are yet to be washed. Hello, good evening. So currently this is the time it's 12:40 and I just finished designing a new look for my channel. So the theme that I want for my colors is these neutral colors and gold. Yeah, I'm about to change my banner. I've just finished designing the banner. Let's see. This is the channel banner and I'm about to upload it to my channel. All right. So I just need to send it to my computer and then upload it so you guys can head, head over to the channel and check it out so i'm just going to go into my channel customization and then chosen the banner this is it so when you're changing the banner this is what it looks like all right so the next thing that i'm working on is my intro i came up with this little um animation you guys can get the idea I'm still working on it, so I'll just continue working on that now. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. There we go. I finally done my intro. This is the time, 2.53, so almost 3 a.m. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Okay. So with goal setting, I have learned from Ali Abdal that it's better to set goals with metrics that are within your control. For example, I want to lose weight. I cannot say in the month of June, my goal is to lose five kilograms because I'm not in control of how much weight my body actually loses. But the thing that I'm in control of is how often I work out. So instead of saying in the month of June, I'm going to lose five kilograms, what I can say is, my goal in the month of June is to work out twice a week. 
that is something that is within my control that is a metric that is within my control also i cannot say within the month of june i want to grow my channel to 20,000 subscribers i'm not in control of how many people actually click the subscribe button but the thing that i am in control of and that will contribute to the growth of my channel is how often i post a new video so i can say my goal in the month of june is to post twice a week as opposed to the once a week that i've been posting so that's what i've learned you set goals with metrics that are within your control and it helps you break down the things that you actually need to do the tasks that you actually need to do to reach that goal so now that i know that i have to post twice a week i have to structure my schedule in such a way that i am editing at least two videos every week cook at least once a week guys so this is me promising you two videos per week <laughs> oh my gosh we'll make it happen we'll make it happen the next thing i want to do is to catch up on pending videos like i said earlier there are some videos that i have to show you but i just felt like i needed to do this reset before i edit those videos i run an illustration business called mutombo visuals honestly for that i'm still trying to find my footing and get organized so i want to set up a system that can easily answer clients questions when they send in inquiries i want to you know set up a specific phone number for this so basically i just want to automate the whole process of receiving clients and then last but not least i want to nail down a work week schedule i have two main categories that i want to work on obviously the other things that i have to work on but these are the two that i want to focus on for now and i don't want to overwhelm myself with things that i cannot handle right now i'm just going to go in and look at each goal that i've set and then break down what i need to do to accomplish those goals hi y'all happy sunday what i'm about to do now is to sort out my finances okay i use this app called money manager thank you ali for putting me on this app honestly if you want to keep track of where you spend your money what your money is going to this app is it i've never seen a better money tracking app so i've just gathered my receipts this is what i have spent i think over the last week or so because since i've been traveling a lot i haven't really been keeping track of my expenses but now i'm ready to get down to business so i'm just going to organize everything figure out how much i've spent and what i've spent on so far and then i'm going to make my budget for the rest of the month just from looking at things i already realized that i spend a lot of money on food yeah food yesterday i bought plantains and beans for For two thousand francs. I'm cozy, I'm ready for bed, and I'm also ready to end this video. I haven't done everything that I needed to do, you know, to really have a full reset because in between all of these, I actually had to work. There are definitely a few other things that I still need to do, like maybe do a deep clean of the fridge, you know, wash the curtains. But I think I've gotten the ball rolling with what I've done so far. And in fact, all of this was filmed over the last one week. And this evening is when I cleaned the floors even though it appears at the beginning of the video but that's because i wanted to gather you know all the cleaning things together all the laundry things together but i did all of those things over the span of about one week yeah after cleaning the floors i was like you know what it's time to close this video and quite frankly i want to keep these monthly resets realistic you cannot do everything at once sometimes you might have to sprinkle a few of the things that you need to do across the entire month i'm hoping that i'll be able to do these monthly resets you know every month but quite honestly that will be up to you so you have to let me know if you liked this particular video a realistic monthly reset and goal setting session okay that was a long name but
if you did and if you want the monthly resets we're going to make it a thing that said i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you're inspired to take some time out and get a few things on track catch up with things that you've been putting on the back burner because lord knows that i had to do these things ages ago you mustn't do everything that i did or you can even do more it's entirely up to you i've got to go now i'm very tired and i need to rest please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in the comments Thank you.